Hi guys, this is the second part of our unpacking video of the new Volafone X. The reason why it took so long and why we make a second one is because first I ordered the Volafone X with Ubuntu Touch. It is a special software which is based on Linux, has nothing to do with Android or Google or Apple or Samsung. It's a complete open source software which you can use also for on PCs, Ubuntu PCs like that Linux. So I thought that's a cool idea and let's do it on the phone. So then when I unpacked it last time you could see I was a little bit hesitant because uh, it is so different that I cannot recommend it for non-technical, non-tech savvy phone users. It works, it's great, it's from security points, the Ubuntu Touch is definitely the best because it doesn't touch any of the big players. It's really good, I can recommend it, but Ubuntu Touch is not really for people who are not really tech savvy. If you just want to use a phone for everyday use, like myself, I like to use it for email, I like to do a little bit internet, I do a little bit photos, a little bit talk, etc., telegram, whatever, then um, it's not so easy with Ubuntu Touch. You can do all that also with Ubuntu Touch, of course, but it needs a little bit more endeavor to, to uh, set up everything and uh, you cannot use your usual apps, which you're usually used to. And because I realized I cannot install it myself, to switch to the two different op operating systems, Ubuntu Touch or Vola OS, so Vola OS, I thought I'd switch back to that. Then I had to send it back to the company, to Germany. It took a little time because uh, between Switzerland and Germany, it's a, it's a whole thing with customs and whatever. And then they really did a good service and uh, they sent it back. Today I got it back. So now it's the same phone as before, but with a different operating system. Vola operating system is based on Android which is also open source, but it, they skipped all the Google uh, tools. So there is no Google involved in the whole thing. So it's, the whole operating system is based on, on particular on, uh, on uh, privacy protection, on security and so on. So it's a real good phone for people who are very concerned about privacy and protection. Like myself. Otherwise, I'm just a normal user. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm just using phone like anybody else uses it. So if you see, if you, you can see here, the phone itself is a little bit bigger. It's this X, Volafone X, which is quite a bit something you have in your hand. You know, it's 280 grams. If you don't like heavy phones, go for the Volafone without the X. That is nice, slim. And this one is much bigger because it has a larger back battery, 680 milliamps, I think, which should last quite a long time. And um, it is also water resistant. It is, it's quite a robust part. I can see that. So now for the first time I'm switching it on. I didn't charge it. It's just like as it is. Maybe I turn it for you so you can see better. In the meantime, I can say it's minimalistic. It comes only with a charger, USB cable, a little pin, and a special VPN connection, which is included. I have to still activate this. Otherwise, not much. There's not, not even headphones. Headphones you have to buy separately if you want some. So let's see. This is the first time starting. Aha, uh -huh. it looks different than the Ubuntu. Now let's see. Starts in English. You can change, of course, the language. Now for you guys, I use it English, otherwise I would use German, my mother tongue. So set your time zone, etc. This is standard. Amsterdam, Berlin, it's closest match. Current date, 27th September 2021, correct? Current time, I guess it will do it automatically, but let's do it manually, roughly like this. So I guess it will do it by itself later on, but I do it now manually. Oh, then Wi-Fi. To the Wi-Fi, enter the password and it connects. Okay, then go to next. Location service, allow apps that have asked permission to use your location information. If you're really security uh, concerned, you would not switch it on, but 
I need it, for example, for a map service. Otherwise, how can I? So I allow it, otherwise I cannot use map. I have to insert the SIM card, let's see, like any other phone. Usually I would say you should switch it off to do that, but I'm taking a little risk. i just do it like that. Yeah, inside you have space for two SIM cards or one SIM card and a big extra storage up to 256 GB, I think. So, okay, now I enter the SIM card. Yeah, this is like how you know it from an Android, but there is no Google connection to it. Now I have to learn how to use it, and then I can make another video to see how the operation is. Yeah, this is standard as I know from other Androids. Great. Seems it's already connected. Mm -hmm. And she's like show dialer. This is the recent used uh, app, so the most frequent used app, etc. You can use the camera. There's a front and a back camera, whatever. Flash is there, of course, video is there. And then you have the agenda. You have a gallery. I made one picture. Make another picture. That's it. Two pictures. Then we have the recent news. I have no idea where it goes. Okay, some news. German news, of course. This is German stuff. So don't, or Swiss, let's say Swiss one. Mm -hmm. Recent threats, recent people, etc. It's completely new. I have not used the phone, so there is no... I didn't even install any app or an account. I will add to my email account. Browser, it seems. Welcome to Fennec, Fennec F-Droid. Different themes. Let's leave it on the standard. There's Dr. Goa search engine. Great. No Google. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Voila. Phone. Voila phone online. Perfect. Works. Okay. So this is the Vodafone X, you can see, it's very robust. And then they have, of course, also the normal Vodafone, which is much smaller and thinner and sleek. On the Vodafone online store, you find a very nice introduction video, in English even, which is quite good. You can see a little bit more. And next time, I will show you a little bit more what you can do with it. But first, I have to learn it myself, because for me, it's also completely new. And I'm definitely sure that with the Vola OS, I will be much more comfortable than with the Ubuntu Touch. Ubuntu Touch, I like it from the idea because it's even more privacy, but you need to be a little bit tech savvy, I would say. And you have... Ubuntu savvy. <laughs> so, I'm very curious. Let's see what we can do. There's music, radio, everything, settings, sync, VPN, oh, VPN. It comes with the free... VPN service from, what is this service called? Hide.me. Hide.me. I have not heard about it before, about this Hide.me. It's free at least for some year, like uh, for some time. So, and the way I understood is it will not track, so you have a double security. And, um, oh, nice. Screensaver. Updates available, like usually. Great. I, I like it. I like the touch and feel, especially the red button I like. <laughs> and it is waterproof, so it has here the, the head phone jack is, is down, which is very nice. And of course, a standard USB-C connection, etc. The buttons on one side only, which is also great. I don't like when they're on both sides. Great, super. I'm very happy.